there's a 90% chance we'll witness a black hole explode in the next decade. These aren't your regular black holes that eat stars. We're talking primordial black holes, tiny ones born in the first second after the Big Bang that are finally ready to die. Stephen Hawking predicted black holes slowly evaporate through radiation. At the very end, boom, a massive burst of gamma rays. Until last month, scientists thought we'd wait 100,000 years to see one. But researchers at UMass just changed the game. They propose some black holes might carry a dark charge, a kind of hidden charge, like electricity but in a dark sector. This charge acts like life support, keeping them alive way longer than normal. And right now, a significant number of them could be hitting their expiration date all around us. Our gamma ray telescopes are already watching. When one explodes, we'll see a flash unlike anything else in space. No afterglow, just pure Hawking radiation. This would be the first proof that Hawking was right and that primordial black holes exist. Such a black hole is smaller than an atom, but weighs about as much as a large mountain, and it's been slowly dying for 13.8 billion years. When most people think black holes, they picture stellar mass giants or supermassive beasts at galaxy centers. Those formed from collapsing stars millions of years after the Big Bang. But primordial black holes are a totally different story. Picture the universe at one second old. The entire cosmos is hotter than the center of the sun, denser than an atomic nucleus. Random quantum fluctuations are happening everywhere. Most of these fluctuations smooth out instantly, but some regions get squeezed so tight they collapse into black holes. No dying star needed. These primordial black holes could be any size. While stellar black holes have a minimum mass of about three suns, primordial ones could be as light as an electron or as heavy as an asteroid. And the lightweight ones, they're the ones about to explode. See, in 1974, Stephen Hawking dropped a bombshell on physics. Black holes aren't perfectly black, they glow. It's incredibly faint, but quantum mechanics says particle pairs constantly pop into existence near the event horizon. Sometimes one falls in while the other escapes, and the black hole loses a tiny bit of mass. For a regular black hole, this Hawking radiation is beyond negligible. A black hole with the mass of our sun would take 10 to the power of 67 years to evaporate. That's a one with 67 zeros after it. The universe is only 13.8 billion years old, so these aren't going anywhere. But here's where it gets interesting. The smaller the black hole, the hotter it glows, and the faster it evaporates. A black hole with the mass of a large mountain? That would last about 13.8 billion years. Sound familiar? These lightweight, primordial black holes born in the Big Bang are reaching their expiration dates right now. Until September 2025, physicists thought we'd basically never witness a primordial black hole explosion. The odds were about one detectable event every 100,000 years. Not something you'd wait around for, but a new paper in physical review letters from the UMass Amherst team shook things up. They asked, what if we're missing a piece of dark matter physics? Dark matter makes up about 85% of all matter, but we don't know what it is. The team proposed a dark QED model, a hidden version of electromagnetism with its own dark electrons and dark photons. In this scenario, primordial black holes could pick up a dark charge early in the universe. That charge keeps them in a nearly extremal state where Hawking radiation slows to a crawl, almost like being frozen in time. Imagine a normal black hole as an ice cube melting on a hot sidewalk. A dark charged black hole is like that same cube sealed in perfect insulation. It hardly melts at all. These black holes could survive for billions of years, then eventually lose their charge and evaporate rapidly. Instead of dying long ago, many could be expiring in the same cosmic era, which happens to be now. So how do we go from basically impossible to 90% chance in 10 years. It's all about the numbers. First, the diffuse gamma ray background. Any black hole that is slowly evaporating adds to a faint gamma ray glow across the sky. Satellites like Fermi have measured this glow, and it is not very bright, which caps how many evaporating primordial black holes can exist. In the standard picture, their long-lived emission would overproduce that background unless their numbers are tiny, which is why the odds of catching a nearby explosion looked hopeless. The twist is dark charge. 
In the UMass Amherst model, some primordial black holes pick up a hidden charge and become nearly extremal, so their hawking radiation is strongly suppressed for most of cosmic history. That keeps the background low even if many survive until today, which means a bigger pool of black holes can be reaching their final moments now. Second, how far we can see. A final evaporation has to happen close by. Fermi can see to about a tenth of a light year. Ground arrays like HAWC in Mexico and LHAASO in China push that to roughly a third of a light year, which is still much closer than the nearest star. Put those together and the local event rate can rise enough that a detection this decade becomes plausible. In their parameter scan, the authors find scenarios where the 10-year detection probability exceeds 90% if primordial black holes and the dark sector behave the way the model assumes. Right now, multiple observatories are scanning the sky, and they might catch this signal even if they're not actively looking for it. So, what would we actually see? The final explosion would last just a fraction of a second. In that instant, the black hole would unleash an enormous burst of energy releasing as much power as billions of nuclear bombs in less time than a blink. Unlike gamma-ray bursts from colliding neutron stars, there would be no afterglow in X-rays or visible light. A primordial black hole burst would be a naked flash of Hawking radiation, with a spectrum peaking in high-energy gamma rays, far harder than most cosmic explosions. Our current instruments, Fermi, HAWC, and LHAASO, could already detect such a flash. The upcoming Cherenkov Telescope Array will be even more sensitive. We don't need new technology. We just need to be watching when it happens. And here's something wild. The black hole that explodes tomorrow would have been traveling through space since before the first stars lit up, through the cosmic dark ages, through the birth of galaxies and our solar system. And after 13.8 billion years of slow decay, it would vanish in less time than you can blink. If we ever catch one of these explosions, it would confirm two massive things at once. Hawking radiation is real, and primordial black holes exist. And depending on what we learn, it might even hint at an undiscovered dark sector of physics. But here's my question for you. If we detect one and prove primordial black holes exist, what does that mean for dark matter? Could ancient black holes make up part of the dark matter we've been chasing? Or does the idea of a dark charge point to something even stranger? Drop your theories in the comments. If you want to be here when we potentially rewrite physics, make sure you're subscribed and check out our video on how black holes themselves might form from dark matter.